I'm Deborah Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. It was a shortened trading week as markets were closed on Monday for the Labor Day holiday. But we still had a lot to go over. Some big deals happened this week. Aurora Cannabis gave an update on its business in which it said it would take a $1.8 billion charge as they released unaudited preliminary fiscal fourth quarter 2020 results. And if that wasn't bad enough, the revenues fell sequentially. Aurora said that its fourth quarter net revenue was expected to come in the range of 70 million to 72 million. They did 75 and a half in the third quarter. As an aside, they also named a new CEO, Miguel Martin. Emerald Health agreed to sell its interest in Pure Sun Farms to Village Farms International for $79 million. Now you may recall that this was a joint venture between the two and Village Farms basically wanted to buy what it didn't own and Emerald Health still owned 41% in that joint venture. Columbia Care is buying California-based Project Cannabis for about $57 million in Columbia Care stock and $12 million in cash from the proceeds of a concurrent sale of Project Cannabis' real estate assets. That deal is expected to close in the fourth quarter of 2020. Haven Life Sciences was granted a Section 56 exemption by Health Canada. Now that means that they have the ability to possess certain amounts of pure psilocybin for scientific purposes, specifically for the research and development of quality control methods. Now, earlier this week, Haven began trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange using the ticker symbol HABN. And finally, the queen of lifestyle branding, Martha Stewart, has launched a new line of CBD products with the cannabis company, Canopy Grows. The hemp-derived wellness supplements are inspired by some of Martha's most popular recipes featuring Meyer lemons and blood oranges. The initial product offering will include a range of human wellness supplements with a gift box and pet line launching later this year. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.